There's a part of my life that I've never spoken about, but today is the day where I talk about it. Ah. Hey, bro, don't you look at that? I said, my friend, what you looking at? Hello, everybody, and today we are talking about the whole topic of my Princess Diana Awards. Now, before I jump into the video, I do have to make it very, very clear that my past is in the past, and I leave it in the past. I think it's very important for you peeps to be aware that everything that I once did is just not me anymore. Like, I changed, hence why I... hence... Yeah. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the story on how I got two of these. This story begins when I was six years old and my parents always forced me to do sports. They knew I hated it, but they also knew that I needed to do some sort of physical activity. One day I was doing a rugby tournament and I really hated rugby, but I won a match like I was good at rugby, not gonna lie. But I did hate it. When the match ended, I went to a fish and chip shop and while I there, I saw a poster for a ballet class. Yes, a ballet class. Ballet class. I asked my mum if I could join ballet, and her reaction was, Yes, you can join ballet. A week later, I found myself at a ballet class in a leotard. A few months passed and I was about to start rehearsals for my first ever ballet show. As a six year old I was very excited to tell everyone in my class that I did ballet and I'm doing a show like oh my god like <laughs> Hmm. My reaction was a little bit like Ballet, 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 come see me show please, much love, appreciate, subscribe to my YouTube channel, link for merchandise down below. Yeah! But a few parents weren't happy with a biological boy doing ballet and telling their children about that. I was teased a lot for doing ballet because seemingly it wasn't a normal thing. But they messed with the wrong person. I'm, I'm punchy. Yeah. Within a few days, I turned into the school bully and every single pupil hated me. In this video, I'm not going to go into detail on what I did, but I did a lot, a lot of bad things. Year four came around and I was removed from school. And then I did other stuff for a few more years. And then secondary school came around. At this point, I was moved into special education. I was 11 and I was in one of the worst schools in the UK. And when I say worse, I mean like we've got aggressive kids here, like beyond belief. I usually describe this school as a jail school. Yes, it was that bad. Within the first week, I knew where I stood with the other pupils and the teachers. It was at this point I realised that I didn't want to live the life I had been living. Not in a trans aspect, but where I stood with my behaviour and my violence. School bully role, you know what I mean? Now, class sizes were minimal. There was about seven people in my year, all of which had their own special issue. I don't really want to describe it as that, but I'm being quite vague because I I don't want to expose anyone. Sorry. To set a scene of the average sort of classroom, it was a little bit like. Why am I? <laughs> Days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. And it was at this point I noticed some common themes. The students wouldn't listen to the teachers, but they would listen to me. Now this entire time I hadn't been in any arguments, fights, other things. I was a very good kid. And all of the students literally loved me. Quite literally. There was a few. Yeah. I used to get onto the same level of every other student and I used to help them with all their work. The teachers were shocked. I was shocked. The other people's grades were going high. And I was thanked quite a lot. After some time, this came for giving times to improve the lives of others. But still, the classroom was fairly disrupted, and I used to talk to the students one by one at break time, and I was a bit like, Do you really want to be here? Do you want to make a change? Do you want to just leave, like, all of this behind? And somehow, my idea of talking to them actually worked. Like, there was no fights. There was, like, no bullying. I am a genius. As the year went on, I worked with students on a one-to-one -one sort of level. None of it was like official work, they just needed someone to talk to. And then this came around. For tackling bullying in schools and communities. What? 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 I didn't even expect one, let alone two. Now once again, I do want to make it clear, I'm not the bad person that I want was. I am nice and... Yeah. Make your own judgement. 
or else. Um, uh... Anyway, thank you for watching, and remember, as always, a like, a comment, and subscribe. Remember to get your merchandise, link down below. And to follow all my social medias, I have Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, yeah, name it, the link is down below. And on that note, goodbye. Bye, bye, see